Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. Welcome to the end of the Patriots season. Blowing a game to the Buffalo Bills that was at home. They were favored. Should have won this game. Terrible defensive game plan. It's not the offense that let them down. It was Belichick and the defense. That's the reality. Yep, 100%. They let Isaiah McKenzie, McKenzie beat them. Isaiah McKenzie is a mediocre at best receiver. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse to not adjust to that. They didn't have Cole Beasley. I don't understand why you're not doubling Stefan Diggs. You don't need to waste your, your shutdown corner on Stefan Diggs when they don't have a number two option. They don't have a number two option this game, the Bills. Game's not over. It's 33-21. It's, it's oh, all but over. Um, you know, Harris played his ass off, carried the team on his back. For what? So, and drive by drive. First drive, Patriots go three and out because they're trash. The Bills, they get a touchdown on their first drive. They, they went for it basically every single fourth down, which is nuts. But that's McDermott for you. Um, paid off this game for the most part, but not 7-0. Patriots drive, they respond with a college, they get, they, they respond with a touchdown drive of their own. They get a, they do a college option pitch, which is good. And then Harris runs in for the touchdown on the next play, or play or two later. Uh, next drive, the Bills get a field goal. The next drive, Patriots throw to Harry. He doesn't know how to catch. Look, please, you've, you've got to cut him at the end of the year. Please. Please. I can't take it. <laughs> I cannot stand watching him anymore. He drops a wide open pass. And then he's thrown to it out. It's, it's not a good, good read by Mac. But he's open enough to be able to make a play. And instead he just raises his hand up. Not even towards the ball. And it's picked off. It's tipped and picked off. It makes no sense because the whole reason he got drafted by the Patriots because Contested in catches. college he would jump up and make those catches. He doesn't put any effort. He puts zero effort when it comes to route running. He puts zero effort when it comes to trying to make a contested catch. Every once in a while, he'll randomly make a contested catch, but 90% of the time he puts no effort in. And right. I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Look, dude, if you don't give a shit about playing, then get off the team. I, I don't Tell know them why you don't he, want to play and quit. I don't know why he's still on the team, frankly. He makes them a worse team. He actively hurts the team at times. So the Bills, they do turn it over on downs, going for it on fourth and inches, which is the one time I'm going to criticize McDermott in this game. Dude, take the goddamn field goal. Take the points. Take the points. Mm -hmm. You're on the one-yard line. You're already winning. Take the points. That was a huge mistake. Yeah, widen your margin. That's a coaching blunder. You know, I get if you're in no man's land, but not there. That's the only... When the Patriots aren't known for offensive comebacks. Like, you're not playing the Packers. Take the points. Right, you're not playing Tom Brady anymore. It's different. You know, it's just... So that was a mistake. But that's probably the only mistake they made the whole that's game, That's basically honestly. their only mistake. Well, they had the one drive where they collapsed, but other than that... Patriots, they were solid. Yeah. No, Allen was good. Uh, Patriots go three and out. The Bills go three and out. But, of course, <laughs> then Barmore jumps off sides on fourth down. That was a major mistake. On fourth and seven. Now, the Bills were, were not going to go for this because uh, common sense. Yeah, obviously. They're in no man's land. It's a 57-yard field goal. You know what they're going to do? They just took a timeout, which means they can't take a timeout at one. So that means what they're going to do is they're going to let the play clock go to zero. They're going to use a hard count to make you draw, try to draw you up sides. And then, if that doesn't work, they can take a delay of game so they can punt. They can have room to punt. Everyone in the entire, everybody who's watched football knows that's what Buffalo is doing. Right. And Barmore jumps off sides with like 15 seconds on the play clock. Really bad, bad mistake. Dude, you didn't even time it at like one or two seconds. It was just phew. You you jumped when it was like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. That is bench worthy. You you you've gotta know the situation. That's just a fundamental thing. That's no. the coaching not not being coached well or something. I don't know. But you can't be that stupid. Right. Now you know 
Maybe they could have called false start in the sudden center movement, but they're not going to call that. No. Unless it's egregious. So, it's an encroachment. And it's, there's no excuse. So it leads to, I think it leads to a touchdown. Yeah, it leads to a touchdown. Which, 17-7. Uh, the next drive is when the officials decided to have heart attacks and not actually be able to watch anything. God, Jones, they were so bad. Jones gets hit laid out of bounds, uh, way laid out of bounds. Not just one foot out of bounds. He has both feet out of bounds. Then he's horse tap collar tackled. No call. Out of bounds. No call. Not only did, is it no call, they threw a flag and then picked it up and then called the Patriots for taunting. How? Are, are you serious? And then that almost caused a whole fight because the officials are stupid. That is the... I mean, they almost caused a fight. That is the worst not call I've seen for the Patriots ever, I think. I can't think of a time so, that there was something worse. No, they're lucky there wasn't a huge brawl in this game. They twice. are extremely lucky. They're lucky that lucky. it didn't happen twice in this game. Because that's not the only time it was bad. Oh, it was horrible. At least the second time they called it, but still. Well, no, I just... Well, no, they called it and then canceled it up. True. No, the officials was, was garbage this game. The Patriots did not lose because of the officiating. But, look, I'll be blunt. Those taunting calls need to be eliminated next year. Period. Period. Like what, they what are else, ruining the game. What else do you expect game. from your team when your quarterback nearly gets killed on the sideline? Of course what they're gonna. Your, yeah. Of course they're gonna defend their. What team. is your offensive line supposed to do? Just sit there and and, and take it. Oh, thank you for killing our quarterback out of bounds. Thank you. We appreciate <laughs> that. Like, come on. Of course they're riled up and pissed off about it. Trent Brown wasn't even in the guy's face. I know, he was just standing there jumping around because he was angry. That's all he said. Don't hit my quarterback. Out of bounds. And you call that taunting. By the way, Stefan Diggs told the fans to go fuck themselves. No taunting call. Right. Now, I don't want them to call that taunting. But if you're going to call Trent Brown taunting, then call that taunting. Right. Either call every single time a, a, a taunt happens at all, right. or don't call it. Right. Don't say it's a point of emphasis when you call it whenever you damn well please. I was nervous that Mac blew his knee out on that yeah. play the way he fell. I was nervous he concussed himself on the so, way he got dragged you know, backwards. Like, I think we can all agree that those taunting calls have got to be completely eliminated. This is not college football where you have to be a goddamn robot. Oh, you celebrated a sack? Well, that's a taunting call. Right. It sucks the fun out of games. Yes, it, really it does. does. It ruins It ruins the game. It does. It is... I understand things for safety. I do not understand things for taunting. It's a fucking game and there are emotions. Oh yeah, exactly. They can't just be robots out there. They're people. I don't want to watch robots. I don't. Even in hockey now, they get... They get thrown in the box. I know. But, <laughs> well, they get... They get they, but still, you just knock somebody up. Stop ta you know? like stop calling taunting calls. So there was that. That was that is the worst non-call I've ever seen in a football. Please, game. NFL, get rid of that taunting penalty because it sucks the fun out of the game completely every time you call it. And it's a 15-yard penalty. If it's going to be a penalty, at least make it five and not a first down. Why is it 15 yards? Right. Are you really telling me that somebody's fifi's getting hurt is worth? As much as a guy getting a concussion shot to the head? Right. No, nah, go to hell. That's... Don't sit there and tell me you give a shit about player safety when you're telling me that player safety hits that are illegal are just as bad as somebody saying a mean word to somebody on the field. It was a horse collar tackle out of bounds. It should have been called. No, nah, there's no question. Screw off. There's no question it should have been called. Everybody, on, everybody thinks it should have been called. There's no question. So... The Patriots have to punt because of that. Bills run the clock out. Third quarter, the Bills get held to a field goal. The Bills didn't punt once in this game. Look. Defense is terrible. I'm sorry. They were terrible today. They were very bad. They make no adjustments at all. The only guy that had a... Well, even Jackson gave up a touchdown this game. I think the first touchdown he gave up all year. They were all bad. All of them were bad. He dropped an interception. He dropped a pick six, frankly. It looked like it was probably going to be a pick six. And that probably changes the game. They, they, they maybe may uh, may win the game, may lose the game at that point. But you you got to make the damn catch. Yeah. And he's dropped like three of them now. That would have been game changing interceptions. I'm getting real tired of it. So, um, where the hell are we? The 27 Bills on the field goal. 
Next Patriots drive, we get the fourth down pickup from Jones to Myers. That was a great play. Harris runs it in for a touchdown. Jones was fine in this game. He did have the one pick, but that's more on Harry not even making an effort. Yeah. Um, next, Bills drive. They give up a touchdown to Singletary because, of course, Singletary scores a goddamn touchdown. That's when you know it's a bad night when the Bills score touchdowns. Probably the, the worst <laughs> running back in the league scores a touchdown on you. Look, and they're just dying. The offensive line of the Bills played well, actually, but their their running backs were still atrocious, which tells you how bad they are because the line actually blocked really well for them. They did. They still couldn't run. Yeah, Junon didn't do anything in this game. Man, so it was uh, 26-14. McKenzie was killing them all game. I'll talk about that at the end. So the next page is drive. We get Max get hit gets hit late. So like, so they call that. They call that. He <laughs> but gets, after a slide, he gets hit late. Then Andrews gets in a guy's face to hit him. He's like, "Don't hit my quarterback." Oh, taunting! He hurt his feepees. Yeah, you rewatched that back. He didn't touch the guy. He just got in his face and was talking smack. So in other words, a late now remember. So a late hit is just as important as someone's fifis. The logic there just. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. It doesn't. First of all, I, if you're gonna have taunting penalties, make it so that a it doesn't offset a personal foul penalty. Uh, make it a five yard penalty at best. So if you get a. Uh, in that situation, what it should have been is, well, it would have been half the distance to the goal. So in that case, it would have waived the, the, the taunting penalty altogether. But in a normal situation, it should be a 10-yard personal foul hit for the hit instead of 15. Mm -hmm. a, a taunting penalty should not, should not cancel out a late hit because that's safety. A guy could get killed on a late hit when he's not expecting it. Right. Right. I'm sorry. Somebody's feelings getting hurt is not the same thing no stop treating it like it is nfl stop you're ruining the game and the patriots have, have, have this is the first time they've gotten screwed with it but i mean where was that the cassius mars got called for a taunting when all he did was celebrate a sack right that's right that happened too this season and then the official hit him literally ran into him on purpose hit checked him on purpose to make them know, like, oh, look at my look at my balls here. I'm going to screw you over with my taunting flag because you hurt my feelings. Yeah, score didn't change. The oh, right my God. Time. So after that, the Patriots didn't really do much. Not really. The, the, well, they got a touchdown with Harris on that one, 26-20. But that was... Then the Bills iced the game after J.C. Jackson drops what probably is a pick six. It's at least an interception at the, at the 20. Could have turned the whole game around, but nope. And uh, then they proceed to let McKenzie still beat them. They left Brian on him the entire game. I know they did. Look, it, I it kind of reminds me of the Super Bowl when they left. Uh, when they left Eric Rowe on uh, whatever. Was that on? A was it? That wasn't Aguilar. It was a. Uh, In the Falcons their, game, right? No, the Eagles game. I don't know who he was on. I don't Zach Ertz. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't on Ertz. He was on a receiver. Whoever it was, they didn't take him off the whole game. No, they didn't. They didn't put Butler back in the game. Right. He didn't play. It made no sense. Right. The same boneheaded logic applied here today for some reason. So, as far as McKenzie is concerned, they gave up 125 yards to a mediocre receiver. That's embarrassing. It is. I, that is embarrassing. They should be embarrassed. Yeah, I would be. Um, I am embarrassed for them. What should they have done? Well. You take Jackson off of... Put him on the other side. You take Jackson off of Diggs. You double Diggs the rest of the game. And you put Jackson on McKenzie. McKenzie ain't beating just, uh, Jackson. No. So no. that's what you do. You take that away. Because every single play when Diggs or Knox wasn't open, he just immediately threw it to McKenzie. Right. McKenzie's not only open, he's open by 5 to 10 yards. Every play, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, they played really soft, too. I mean, Bryant got... Got beat on every single cut. Normally they play much tighter coverage. They didn't in this game. Well, he tried. He was just getting, he was beat on the cuts immediately. So that's why you put Jackson there. Yeah. So they lose the game 33-21. I guess that's official. I don't know if it they is turn official. the ball over. I don't know. The game's over. On the last drive. Game's over, so let's keep talking. Buffalo won the AFC East basically all but officially at this point, barring a loss to the Jets. So, so Patriots fans, I guess, root for the Jets in two weeks or maybe it's next week. I don't know. Yeah, we dropped to the seventh seed. Yep. 
So we're playing for a wild card now, which effectively means season's over because we're not going on the road and winning three games and then getting to Super Bowl. That's not happening. I was going to say they're perfect on the road, but they're not. No, they're not. They just lost to the goddamn Colts. So looking back at the season, you know, what, what are the losses that killed them? First Miami won. The Cowboys won. The Bucks won. Those three games, you should have won. Yeah, right. You had all three of those games won. No, you, you can't drop games that are one-score games like that. You know, you look back the, the, the... So it's really those three games. Because the Saints game, they were dominated in. The Colts game, they were really, really... The Colts game, they did have a chance to win, but they were pretty dominated if you look at the actual game. Yeah. This game, they were never going to win, so... I don't know. I don't know how you beat... Buffalo at Buffalo and then come home and lose to them. I don't I don't understand. So that. now they have a losing record at home too. Yeah, it makes no sense. That hasn't happened in twenty one years, as they said no. on the announce on the broadcast. The, they didn't even have a losing record at home last year. I know, somehow. So that puts them in a really bad Gave situation. Four hundred and twenty nine yards of offense to a team with that had almost no receivers left. Yeah, so next week they have the Jags at home, and then they go play Miami in Miami, and then they'll have to go play whoever they play in the first well, round of the playoffs, Well, the right? thing is, in right now, that Miami game is now must win. Because if they lose, they're, they're out of the playoffs entirely, and they haven't beaten Miami in Miami in like four years. I, I can't remember the last time they won down there. They never do. But maybe things will be different yeah. now because... I don't know. They've been so bad. I'm, I'm not even... I mean, are they going to beat Jacksonville next week? I don't know. They don't. Jack I don't know. Jacksonville lost their only good player today, so probably they lost Robinson. He tore his Achilles. I guess, but I, I don't have any faith in this team. The way they've looked the past two weeks, they've been so out coached that it's been embarrassing. Yeah, I don't understand it. So I don't know. I mean, Buffalo is is a really good team, but you got to be better prepared than that. Right. I mean. It's like the bye just totally wrecked them. Yes, they went on the bye, and they haven't been the same since. The late bye killed them this year. Normally in the past, it was good for them. Nah. Well, maybe not. Was it the early buys that they were always better? They usually did better with early buys, and now I can see why. Yeah. So, it killed their momentum, Is that's what happened. Yeah, exactly. And they haven't been the same team, so. Because if you think about it, with the early buy, they could fix the early stuff early. Earlier. But they were, so they were, they were on a roll, so they just... That got just I mean, there's killed. pros and cons because you get injury recoveries later. Um, I mean, as far as this game is concerned, uh, I thought Max game was okay. It wasn't great. It's okay. Still probably rookie of the year by default at this point. So he was okay. Uh, Harris was great. The line was good. Yeah. Myers had an okay game. Yeah. And the rest of the receivers were trash. Including Henry and, and Bourne. And I don't understand why... Bourne had that one good catch. Yes, but the guy is usually the best receiver on the field. Well, maybe COVID impacted him. Even though I had no symptoms, it's, who knows? It's, it's the lack of practice. Yeah, but, but, he practiced once, so... But I don't care. You still got to use him. Period. Period. He, he made he made one play, so that's... You still got to use him more than that. Smith did, like, nothing in this yeah, game. Yeah, I know. They, they've so underutilized him. It's, it's embarrassing at this point. Um, Harry's got to go. Harry was had a ter terrible game. Defensively, there's nobody that had a good game. I, I guess you cool had probably the best game on the defense, and that's when you know it's a bad night when practice squad guy has the best game. Punting, they didn't really do great either. Yeah, Bailey had a bad game too. He had a rough night punting. So he hasn't been great the last uh, couple games. Polk had a good game. Uh, the, the Bills obviously McKenzie had a good game. Their line had a good game. Allen had a good game. Diggs. I think he caught one touchdown. I guess he had, he had a good game. But not a great game. I mean, for his level, it wasn't good. But for a standard receiver, it was good. So now we have to see if the Pats can somehow squeak into the playoffs. Yeah. And we have to also see if the Bills can actually win games in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, It'll be if Josh can actually Knox, hold on and win games, we'll see. Knox had a bad game, too. Right. But if game, but... Allen needs to not lose his mind no, in the can, can, like later on. I got to tell you the problem with the Bills and the reason why I don't think they're going to go very far in the playoffs. No running backs? They don't have a run defense. 
Yeah. They just don't. Because if they have to play the Colts in the playoffs, they they're doomed. Have to, <laughs> as soon as they play the Colts, they're screwed. They're doomed. <laughs> as soon as they play any team that can run the ball at all, they play the Titans, they're screwed. Kansas they're City. They're screwed. KC can run pretty good. Nah, KC can't run. <laughs> they have that one good running back. They, they're mediocre at running the ball. That, but, yeah, I mean, they're, they're set up to beat Kansas City, but it's also experience issue, so who knows? Kansas City be a 50-50. But they would have, they would struggle with, with they would for sure struggle with Kansas City. They would, I mean, they would for sure struggle with the Colts. They'd struggle with the Tennessee Titans. And the other thing is, is look, they got to be able to run the ball with their running backs. You can't keep asking Josh Allen to kill himself time and time again. He okay. also needs to learn how to slide. Oh, yeah. Because sure. I've been watching the guy for four years now refusing to slide. I'm surprised he hasn't concussed himself yet when he's running. Because one of these days he's going to end up like Lamar Jackson. Because Lamar Jackson is... Those injuries are already piling up. Exactly. And when you play that style of game, ask Cam Newton how it turns out for you. Who's total Who's trash garbage now. now. Because he, and it's not his fault, but... This is why Russell Wilson, to his credit, as mobile as he is, he slides every play. So does Ro does Rogers slide? Most Rogers of the time? almost never takes off anymore, he, well, but he slid all the time too. Yeah. So does Brady when well, Brady, he takes off. Brady never Brady's not a mobile quarterback at all. He ran again today. But, but <laughs> no, it's just you. you I I'd, I'd like to see for Buffalo to to fix their run game, and I don't know how you do that at this point in the year, but certainly for next year, they should focus their top draft pick on a running back. Yeah. Or try to pick up a running back in the in free agency somewhere. Somebody or, that can or, be a workhorse. Or get a big guy on the interior on the and, and they need a big nose tackle. Right. And those are their top needs. Our needs are receiver. Like so, it's been for the past twenty five years. <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see what the options are, but they, they they need a receiver desperately. And I swear to God, Bill, if you draft a goddamn receiver, I'm gonna punch you. I'm going down to freaking Fox. There's going to be a lot of guys available this year in the offseason. Yeah, they should pick somebody kidding, up. <laughs> they should pick somebody up that's a real receiver. A real number one, you know, a Keenan Allen type player. Take him. He could play with Hunter Henry. Yeah. They were teammates. Somebody like that you could you could take. Um, they probably have some money left. At, <laughs> I have to look at who's available. But I mean, like the whole defense is, so we'll see what happens this year. I don't know. Well, J the other thing is J.C. Jackson, what are you going to do with him? I mean, I think they should franchise tag him. They're probably going to franchise tag him. If they were smart, that's what they would do. Look, we'll probably still make the playoffs because we're probably going to beat Jacksonville. We'll probably beat Miami. But it's going to be a long road to the playoffs. But they're not making the Super Bowl. Look, a wild card position is still a win for this season because they were rebuilding. You're going to have probably the rookie of the year in Mac Jones. you got a franchise quarterback, likely. Um, and I know a whole bunch of idiots are going to say, hey, Jones didn't throw them back in the game. Yeah, when the defense forces no punts, when he, Brady couldn't come back in this game. No. Defense, there was no... He ran impressive drives to make it one-score games twice. Right. There's nothing more you can ask of him. No. You gotta, you gotta give a defensive help at some point. Right. In this, in this game, they needed defensive you know? help. Look at the Atlanta comeback. Brady doesn't win that game without the fumble recovery, without the defensive stops, without the sack on Matt Ryan. Yeah. You, you, you know, you still need help. It's still a team sport. Right. That the defense helped them win that game. And the point is, you can't, you can't judge somebody based on not being able to come back in, in a game where the defense didn't give you the opportunity to come back at all. He's also a rookie. He's also a rookie, so you can be put you don't want to put that kind of pressure on him anyway. Give him three years and we'll see how he is. Yeah, like next year will be totally different, I'm yeah. sure. So, you know if there is a next whatever. year. <laughs> there should be. They, they they're gonna compete for the division. They're gonna take the goddamn division back next year. Because they're gonna upgrade a wide receiver. They have they're, to. they're gonna fix the holes in the team. Mac will be better than he is now. Uh, I don't know. They should. They'll be fine. They, they got. They got a young. They got a bunch of young talent. It's just this is a frustrating loss. But whatever. The Bills are a good team, so it's not the end of the world. It's not like we're losing to, to you know, Houston or something. Like you know, the Chargers. The Chargers are. just did. Jesus. Oh my God. Um, so, it is what it is. We play for a wild card now. Uh, I guess I guess my friend will be really freaking happy. 
And I guess uh, well, whatever. They don't need, hopefully those ghosts don't show up in Miami. Yeah, in two weeks. congratulations to the damn Bills. As much as I hate to say that, you guys won a good I one. I hate you guys. You won the goddamn division again, and this time you freaking earned it. You didn't, you didn't get you didn't get it handed to you by the Cam Newton Patriots, so you earned it this time. For sure. So whatever. Whatever. Bills played tough after getting a couple of bad losses. Yeah, well, they still got ran over, but so they do need to they do need to tackle better. They need better gap containment. That's why I don't think they're gonna be a playoff threat this year. But those things can be adjusted in the off season if they actually can adjust to their get a nose tackle but and frankly we need to adjust our freaking run D too because it's not great they also need to have, tell Hightower to retire in the offseason he was bad tonight he's just he, he just needs to retire he's obviously much slower than he was he's still got instincts but he is much he's just slower it's it's time for him I think to well, retire <laughs> no we need we need uh we need a slot corner we desperately need a slot corner. Losing Jones early in the season has really hurt it's them. It's shown up in a bad way. And this, it, this, this game. Because significantly worse. Yeah, this game it really showed. So let's, let's you know, top needs, wide receiver, slot corner. Probably two wide receivers, frankly. But at least one one elite receiver, you know, a, a slot corner. Um, you're going to have to figure out what you're doing with Jackson. Tag him. Uh, and maybe another run stuffer on the line. That's about it. Whatever. It is what it is. We lose 33 to whatever the hell it was. 21. 21. Much closer than that score suggests. This was a tight, tight game to the end. The Bills basically put it away in the last minute. Yeah, they um, actually put a game. They is. put a game away. So credit to them. Yeah, for once, because they've they've been they were like 0 and 5 in one score games. So kudos. Oh, whatever. All right, we'll leave. Thank you for watching. Uh, you ramble on for sucks. 35 minutes. I know. Because I thought I, I just well, I wanted to win this one so goddamn badly. But well, whatever. It is what it is. The game at the end of the goddamn day. And uh, I'm still proud of the team that they they went a lot further than I thought they would this year. So, you know, we were we were supposed to be competing for a while for a wild card, but. You know, we, we got a lot of tiebreakers in our favor. They, they, they won more games than I thought they were. Let's just put it that way, because they're probably going to win at least 10 games. And that's impressive with the rookie, for it's a very, rebuilding team. With the rookie, it's very impressive. And so, so many new players on the team, too. But we'll see. Take care.